Now let's get back to the governor's race. The dark horse in the governor's race is independent Drew Curtis. You would need to go deep into the history books all the way back to 1855 to find a governor not within the Democratic or Republican parties. Garrett Weimer talked to Curtis earlier today. He continues our team coverage. Independent candidate Drew Curtis has used social media to fuel his campaign for governor. In a column for Wired published online yesterday, Curtis says the internet has made it possible for a third party candidate like him to win. I mean, basically, whatever I'm going to clock in, I did with nothing. So if you add that effort plus, you know, an actual, you know, honest to God political campaign, you can see some pretty big results. Curtis spoke to reporters after he cast his vote alongside his family in Versailles this morning. He's acknowledged that his chance of winning is, quote, probably slim, but he says there's value in his campaign bringing up topics that otherwise might not have been talked about, such as the pension system, tax reform, and restoring voting rights of felons. If nothing else happens other than that, that's going to be a huge boon to the state just by itself. And yeah, it's uh, being able to bring more complicated subjects to the table than people otherwise would have talked about. Regardless of what happens tonight, Curtis says he's leaving the door open to run for executive office again in the future. We were just talking yesterday about the things we've learned and uh, shortcuts in the process, and maybe dropping a few of those in would be the way to go. Curtis says because of social media, he's convinced you'll see more candidates like him in the future. And as for his future, we'll likely have a better idea of that coming up here soon. At Chase Brewing in Lexington, Garrett Weimer, WYMT Mountain News. And stay with WYMT for Eastern Kentucky's most comprehensive election coverage throughout the night. We will have an election special at 7, and you can also find up-to-the-minute results on WYMT.com.